we've been farming this area for over 100 years. Go all the way back to my great great grandfather, and we raise corn, soybeans, popcorn. For me, it starts really at the core of water, because without water here in South Central Nebraska, we're we're just a desert. So when we're looking at protecting the water, a lot of it starts with how much nitrogen does the the corn crop need? Because we know if we have cheap nitrogen, we could extra apply it just to be safe to have that 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 insurance factor but the ramifications are that ends up in the water supply. We've started to understand what's going on in the soil, how important the soil microbial activity is, how does that play into a healthy plant. So in 2019 was the first I became aware of Source, and 2019 around here was wet, it was miserable. So I went in with zero expectations and got a call that, hey, we got your results back and you did 10 bushels better. So it really gave us some hope for, for for the product just from the standpoint that there is something there. When using Source, the way I've looked at it is that if we can maintain yield and reduce nitrogen, we'll be better off long term. And if it reduces your, your nitrogen needs by X amount or it increases your yield by X amount, that's a win-win. And so either way you want to approach it, um, it, it's important to give it a try. You know, we talk about water is life. Well, that, it starts with that groundwater. It starts with making sure that quality is, is solid. And if we can, we may not be able to re completely reverse it, but if we can start making that, that less of an issue, that would be a big deal. When I think about why do I farm, it's the, the challenges of the unknown and how can we move forward and make something better. You know, I was think about you know, guys like the Elon Musk and the Jeff Bezos of the world. You know, they don't, they don't just sit there and go, well, it's just the way we've done things. Well, let's see what's the next thing we can do. And, and they'll go and if something fails, that's, that's, that's fine. They'll try the next thing. And, and I really think that's important in agriculture to, to do that, to have that mindset as well. It's sustainability. Sustainability of the soil, sustainability of the water, sustainability of the farmer, and sustainability of the small community.